Welcome back to another episode of Two Hungry Diners with me Oni and Peter filming behind the camera. Hey guys! Yes. <laughs> this is the last video of our Mornington Peninsula series and in this special video we are going to show you the top attraction, the number one attraction you have to visit in Mornington Peninsula. You cannot skip this guys which is the Mornington Peninsula Hot Spring but before that we are going to show you first our accommodation for these four days and three nights in Mornington Peninsula which is Mornington Bed and Breakfast This place has a really good not a really good reviews guys This is not your usual hotel This is Bed and Breakfast And let's go check out our recommendation It's a very old property um, I know that uh, the style is a little bit old uh, from 1930-ish I think <laughs> uh, It's Victorian style So it's very unique it's not modern kind of decor so you will expect it like i don't know like an old vibe of hotel yeah check it out guys <laughs> to the right from the main door is the living room from there, it takes you to the main dining area and kitchen. Due to COVID, each room has its own dedicated dining table which you cannot share with other guests from other rooms. Ours is located next to the kitchen and reception area, which has a big comfy sofa with a big window and good lighting. It's perfect for us. Once checked in, the owner Dennis offers us an afternoon tea. The menu for today is carrot cake with tea or coffee. It was a nice surprise as we didn't expect to get afternoon tea for our stay. That's a lovely, lovely afternoon tea, lovely carrot cake as well. Right now, let's go check out our room. So our room is located on the second floor. Can you see this? The light switch, so retro. <laughs> Our room is the smallest room, but first impression, it feels very cozy and clean. We cannot spot any dust or anything dirty. The room is called Oriental Room, and it is decorated with pieces from across Asia following with a theme of red, white, and dark brown color for the furniture. This room is equipped with a flat screen TV, DVD, Foxtel, coffee and tea making facilities, and a bar fridge. The bathroom is also extremely clean with a mix of retro and modern design. We are also impressed that the bathtub is also a spa bath. However, a little not there to not use the spa after 10.30 pm. This is of course bed and breakfast. And bed and the breakfast of course are highlighted in this accommodation. So I'll see you guys the next morning for the breakfast. Here we are in our most favorite thing to do at this BNB, the breakfast. Our starter is passion fruit with yogurt. For breakfast today, I chose smashed avocado toast with poached eggs. It was excellent. For Peter, he chose smoked salmon on toast with poached eggs, which was also delicious. The owner herself cooked and served this breakfast dishes for us. We are so full right now and the breakfast was lovely. On to the next day, we got the same starter, passion fruit and yogurt. And for the breakfast, Peter chose the bacon and egg hollandaise on English muffins. 
and I chose scrambled eggs with multi-grain toast. Both are accompanied by garden salad. They were so delicious, just like the breakfast on the previous day. It's time to check out Morrington Peninsula Hot Spring. Peninsula Hot Spring is an award-winning natural hot spring located on Morrington Peninsula, just around 90 minutes from Melbourne. This is Victoria's first natural hot springs and day spa where you can unwind in thermal mineral waters. There are over 50 globally inspired bathing experiences here, including shared thermal mineral pools, wet and dry saunas, a hydrotherapy pools, turkeys and Moroccan hammams, reflexology walk pool, cave pool, and the frequently Instagram hilltop pool, which is also on top of our list to check out here. The hilltop pool offers a 360 degree view of the peninsula and the view is just simply stunning. In the morning you will hear nature come alive and you can also watch the sunrise over the region. This is the perfect spot to relax and enjoy the natural hot spring. The pool is very small though and it can only accommodate up to 7 guests at one time due to COVID restrictions and there is also a hard limit of 10 minutes maximum per guest. But despite all this restriction, it doesn't stop the guests from making hilltop pool on top of their list to check out too. Apart from the hilltop pool, we thought the Turkish steam bath known as Hammam is an interesting one. The Hammam is a room for relaxation, cleansing and detoxification. It incorporates hot steam hydrotherapy with a cleansing ritual that provides numerous health benefits for the mind and the body. Don't forget to check out the Japanese inspired cave pool which is also pretty cool and provides a quirky experience. There are still plenty of bathing experiences to check out here, but sadly our time was very limited. We really enjoy the experience and it is a perfect place to relax and unwind. Overall, we thought Peninsula Hot Spring is a must visit in Mornington Peninsula. This is an amazing place for families and friends to bath and relax while connecting in nature. Make sure you make a booking in advance as this place is extremely popular. Okay guys, right now we are going back to our accommodation and we are going to have our last breakfast which is going to be very exciting because I picked something sweet for today and yeah, after that we are going to give you a summary of the overall experience in that uh, bed and breakfast See you guys there! And this is the last day, which is also the last breakfast at this beautiful PNB. For our last breakfast, I chose something sweet, crepes with fresh strawberries and maple syrup. It was very yummy, and we were super impressed with breakfast at this PNB. And Peter had the smash afro on toast with poached eggs. Well, guys, that's the end of our stay. Yes. At this Mornington bed and breakfast, the name is actually Mornington bed, bed and, and breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> and also uh, earlier today, we went to the uh, Peninsula Hot Spring, yes. which is always, always a good experience as well. It's yes. very relaxing and yes. not too many people in the morning. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, overall, it's just very, very enjoyable stay. I can highly recommend you guys to try and stay at this uh, bed and breakfast. Service is really good. The owner himself serves us, you know, Herself. everything by herself. Yeah. Wow, it's very nice, super friendly. Uh, yeah, I can't fault anything. I mean, the breakfast is also amazing. The bed itself, 
to do that. Yeah. Oh, everything is so comfortable. Our room is the smallest one, even though this is the smallest room, but it's still really, really cozy. It's quite very, spacious as well. Very clean. Yeah. I mean, it's small, but quite spacious for two of us. Yeah. So yeah, guys, um, don't be turned down by the website. By the way, if you look into the website, just make a booking. You'll be happy. Yes. We are. We were very, very happy here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's it from us guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and yeah, consider subscribing to our channel because it will help our channel to grow. Until then, stay full, stay hungry, bye! See you from morning to